Hi, welcome to this uh, fifth video on WebRTC. Today we are going to see how uh, we can also uh, change uh, the video uh, size using uh, capabilities. So if you go to the documentations here, we have seen that uh, our stream uh, was composed of tracks. So, and then as you can see here, uh, the media capture and stream API represent a single media track within a stream. And typically these are audio and video tracks. We can see that our stream are divided into tracks and we can have audio tracks, video tracks and other tracks that might exist uh, as well. So, and then this track, each of these tracks, like the uh, video track, has some properties. And these properties can be changed. We can get some properties and we can change them by, we can set them by using apply constraints. And if you go here to get uh, capabilities, we can see uh, the get capabilities method of the media stream track here, interface return an object detailing accepted values or value range for each constrainable properties. So this one will return a list of properties associated to each tracks. And then once we have them, those capabilities, we can use then the script to apply them. We can use the script to apply them like here. You can also pass them here, everything in some constant and then apply them. And uh, we can see here we have some set of predefined uh, capabilities or properties for the track that we directly uh, apply here to each track. So this is a bit what we are going to do now in this case. And uh, as usual, uh, we'll need to modify a uh, We need to modify our video a bit. So, <clears throat> uh, what I will do now, what we are going to do now, will be to bring some modifications uh, to our HTML. So, now we are going to deal it in this way. So, and then as you can see here, and uh, we have some input here for the width, which we track with for the width, uh, for the width video width, and here is the height. And then also we have a button here to apply this remaining uh, are self uh, explanatory here. Then, mm, so we have two things that we have to set. So we need to define this method first. So we take this one and we go in the app component. We can go down here and we first create that. Then if we come back again, we have track capabilities. And then uh, the, this track capabilities, we have to define it. And uh, we need to define that in the component. So we come here, the new properties. Uh, I will take, we'll need uh, support it. constraints this one we use it later for now we just define it and then we'll also need the track I will take this we take this one paste it here and it is from media 
capabilities right and then here is on define but we set it to null equal null and then if this one is set let's go to our front end and see how it look like so here we can see that we have a different set of uh, properties here to define this one using uh, capabilities so and for the previous one will it go if you can just take this and add it here here using let's see HTML properties this way so it's a bit different now and then if you just do this we can see that is okay so we just put everything then now uh, let's go now in the code we need to do uh, some foreigners things now is uh, we need to uh, define a new method in our service and then if you come here to our service here then we define a new method called modify video track size and then you will have properties like width of type number you will also hide height of type number and then you will return uh, a boolean we have it as a boolean then now we check the stream if media if stream exist then we get the track get uh, the video track equal to this stream get uh, video tracks and then if get the first element that and then same goes for concier capabilities I'll call it track capabilities and then video track get capabilities so we have them now so we have here the list of our video capabilities and then we have uh, so we just extract our video uh, track and then here we get the list of capabilities then now we check if 
if tr track capabilities dot width exists and track capabilities height that is that then video track apply constraint this is uh, that apply constraint that we are using now from the documentations same approach and then here we are going to set uh, the properties now so we start with uh, width with here we are going to make use of a new properties here called ideal width and then same thing here height we take this, we set the height. And then on that one is done. We'll set this one and we return true. If not, we are going to return false. And then we have a uh, oh sorry this if here okay so that one is clear now so we are all good now we have defined our service now and then we can go and use it let's go in the now we can go and just use that then but before using that we need to get uh, the supported constraints so here we are going to fetch first uh, the supported constraints and track capabilities get capabilities and and constraints here is that then now this uh, track capabilities that we define on top is equal to this media Uh, did we define that? The method get track capabilities is not defined.
is not defined here oh sorry so here we will just add again get uh, supported constraints for the media track and then now we can get get supported constraints here and it would return this one from our top uh, here is our browser and then we get navigator you can just say top uh, is a top uh, top most objects in the browser so then we can go to the media devices and then get supported constraint this is how we navigate and then on that one is done we can go down again now and then get capabilities get capabilities of the video track get track capabilities our method is defined here and then hmm, media track capabilities and then oh where is my keyboard oh is here or no then now if this stream exists then now constraint video track is equal to this stream get video tracks then grab the first element available so right now we only have uh, one webcam camera attached to the laptop so it's the first one that uh, we are going to grab but if you have multiple camera then you may go to index one two three and more from the video then we return the video track get capabilities if not we return no and then this one is done now we can uh, come back to our app component here and then in the get constraint capabilities mm, we'll need to get get uh, capabilities here yeah. so here we just grab them properties of our video track then if now uh, this track capabilities set then in the console we are going to 
you just dump them there, track capabilities. Track capabilities, this, this, uh, track capabilities. So here is that. And uh, once that one is done, I will come now here and define constant success. This one will be equal to this media service modify a uh, video track size and then inside we are going to pass uh, this video with this video height then if success if it's true if it exists and there's no error here, then we are going to lock. We are going to lock this now. This information else. Then. So. That is it. And then we are almost there. And then let's go and try now refresh our code. Here is the console here. And then we request the video, we attach it. Then we can bring this one to tree, apply it. You can see that it's working then you apply this one to three and then it is also uh, working we bring it to four height so that is it and the same time here we can see how everything is been uh, shown here so then we continue and uh, let's show uh, the capabilities now so in order to do that we bring a define another button uh, let's take this one and then we'll put that one on the uh, this here and then we call it We are going to call that show capabilities and constraint. Show capabilities and constraint, stuff like this. And then we can grab this one now. And add our method here. So if we save this one and go back now <coughs> and then refresh our browser request uh, the camera access at our video shows capabilities now 
we can see in the console here like we have all uh, many informations here these are our capabilities track capabilities here contrast color temperature exposure compensations and then exposure times mode saturation sharpness and yeah so many things you can see these are so many things that uh, we could change and manipulate as well so yeah anyway i hope that uh, this tutorial has been useful to you once again you have dipped uh, into the apis and do some changes so yeah stop the video stay tuned for the next episode bye